Strawberries are in season both at the fruit stand and in our gardens. And did you know that Americans eat an average of almost five pounds of strawberries every year? So today on You Can Grow It, Garden Master Jim Duthie celebrates this tasty little fruit by showing us the different kinds of strawberries and how you can grow it. Plus an extra treat as Chef Lou shows us an easy and delicious way to enjoy strawberries. One sure sign that summer is around the corner is when strawberries start turning red. These delicious little gems are the first little fruits to ripen in the spring. But did you know that a strawberry is not really a berry? Despite their name, strawberries aren't technically berries, like blueberries and raspberries. Why? Because those berries have their seeds on the inside. Instead, strawberries have their seeds on the outside, as many as 200 of them on an average little strawberry. And each strawberry seed can grow into a whole new strawberry plant. But the most common way for strawberries to reproduce is to send out long, viney shoots from the main plant called runners, or stolons. These runners will eventually produce a little cloned baby strawberry plant on the end that develops its own roots. Then, once it gets established, the runner dries up and shrivels away. Strawberries are actually members of the rose family, and the blossoms give off a sweet fragrance too. Strawberries are considered perennials since they grow back every year. Most strawberry plants will live up to five years. There are two main types of strawberries, June-bearing and ever-bearing. This is a June-bearing strawberry plant. It's the most popular among home gardeners, producing one large crop of fruit each growing season around late May and June. The fruit is usually bigger and the plant produces more runners. And this is an ever-bearing strawberry. It looks pretty much the same as the June bearer, but it will produce two or three crops of strawberries over the course of the summer and into the fall. You won't have as many berries at one time, but you'll keep getting fresh berries over a longer time. Some gardeners say they're even sweeter than the June bearing strawberries. One of the fun things about growing strawberries is you'll get to have a little treat while you're working out in the garden. Here's a way to enjoy them with this recipe from strawberries and cream biscuits, courtesy of our friend Chef Lou Aaron from Westside Drive-In. So we start out with three cups of almond flour. That makes this recipe gluten-free. Add in a little salt and baking powder. And then we have some, this is just heavy cream that I whipped. Mm -hmm. I didn't whip it to peaks, but I whipped it to where it was creamy. And it's about a cup and a half that you mix in. Sweeten it with some maple syrup and then let the dough rest for about five minutes. After that, knead it a couple of times. You just fold it over. It's kind of crumbly. crumbly. It's kind of crumbly, but you want to you want to get it so it's solid. Flatten it out about a half inch, cut out some circles, and place them in a greased muffin tin along with a little dollop of softened cream cheese. Which was it's going to be really uh, kind of like a little mini cheesecake. Bake them at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And this is how they come out. Isn't that pretty? They're kind of crumbly, but they're okay. Then drizzle them with some strawberry coulis, which is just pureed strawberries with lemon juice and honey, strained to remove the seeds. And you put your strawberry just like so on top of there. And then you have a really nice, pretty dessert. Top it with whipped cream or a little white chocolate sauce. And there we have strawberry and cream, which I call biscuits, but this is really a shortbread. Mm -hmm. And finally, the taste test. Great treat, summertime's coming up, and strawberries are gonna be on here pretty soon, so you wanna be sure and make some delicious treat for your family and friends with the strawberries. Thank you, Chef Lou. You're welcome. And uh, don't forget, Strawberries are available now, coming on season, or you can grow it yourself.